God bless our troops. God bless America. And drivers, start your engines! There they go, green flag. A pretty good jump by Ty Gibbs there, getting going. He's gonna clear the 33. Now, what lane does he pick? Oh, he's gonna go to the right bottom. To the bottom. So, yeah, so <laughs> maybe he thought he could launch better on the top. I feel like the bottom usually actually launches better here, uh, but Ty got a great start, and then he just kind of went where the 33 was as Jesse Love makes a move to the bottom. And if the bottom's going to work, guys, I think it's going to happen in the first few laps. If you've got to get down there and be aggressive the first few, and then I think eventually it'll move up in maybe the first 10. Welcome back to Drivers Only Racing, where we are under caution for the first time. Riley Herps coming off turn two. Tries to pull the slider, guys. AJ wasn't putting up with it. He's just trying to get clean air, I think, more than anything. <laughs> Probably can get out of that hornet's nest. Kyle Busch fast again, back up by the wall. One of the earlier cars to get up there. We talked about it maybe taking 7 to, to 15 laps, kind of depending on the car. I see Kyle Busch has gotten up there quick. He's going to try to make a run as we're on the final lap of the stage. He's going to try to get in front of Ty Gibbs for the next restart. That's a row, right? If you're able to get in front of him and they stay out, you're going to get to be on the front row. Yeah, you see the urgency of Ty Gibbs, right? Moved right up in front of the 33 um, to make sure he's going to try to stay in front. I'll be curious to see what he does down here in three and four if he runs the wall. Nope, no, he picked right. <laughs> and Kyle Busch guessed wrong. I think Kyle thought he was going to, the 20 was going to run the fence, and uh, he picked right. But, yeah, a lot of speed up to seven, a lot of speed from the 33. The 20 need to work on their stuff a little bit. Well, seventh stage win for Justin Allgaier. That is the most of all drivers this season. Drove through the field. That car looks fast. We know he's going to be up there again. They're really stiff springs, really stiff platform in general, and these bumps, you know, it's bad here. You know, this place is it's built on a landfill, guys. Like, it, it's bumpy. And what happens? Oh, we got a spinner here. The 48 of Parker Kligerman off of turn four. It's like a little contact the fired up on, the, on the nose here. As they go down the back straightaway behind a double zero, he was 19th place. Yeah. Entering right on the fence, looks free, trying to put the power down, just spins out. I mean, it just shows you, and then he'll probably have contact with the inside wall. Interesting strategies, lots of fun to watch these restarts. But once again, two of what we would call three, probably the fastest cars, have figured out a way to get back up the front. Justin Allgaier off turn four to sweep the stages here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. For the 13th time in his career, he swept both stages. Well, guys, we just got some <laughs> game-changing news right here. The seven of Justin Allgaier speeding on pit road. We're going to see how good his car really is. Can he come from the back? His day's going to be pretty Battle much for the lead right here, guys. Sam Mayer, we talked about how strong he is on these mile and a halfs. He is doing a really good job on the bottom. Kyle Busch has found his home again right up by the wall. Two completely ends of the racetrack that they like. Here comes a slider from Sam Mayer, going to get up in front of Kyle Busch. Kyle's going to turn it down, look for the crossover down the back straightaway. Uh, we've seen great crossovers all day. You know, it just shows you how much grip that you have on the top on exit. Kyle gets right in front of him, trying to play the air game a little bit, misses the bottom. Here I like Sam Mayer's strength. Sam Mayer right there. Patience. Yeah. Waited for it. So there's no way he's going to hold the bottom entering that low. Waited for him to move up the racetrack. Is he going to pull the slider again? Is it the same move again when he gets here? Or is he going to wrap it? Oh, Kyle holds him tight this time. Yeah, he limited. He, he didn't allow Sam Mayer to pull the slider, right? So how you defend that is you got to enter really close to that car on the inside, you know, and that doesn't allow them to get in the corner and use up track like before. So really, really veteran move by Kyle Busch to defend that slide job and maintain the lead. And you see the back of Kyle Busch's car get loose down over those bumps into turn three. Ty Gibbs trying to stay on the right rear quarter panel on the one and just can't quite do it. Kyle Busch is on defense mode right now. I mean, his car is not very good and he is having to run that thing with his tongue out against the wall and Sam is just pestering him. It's really free up there. I've seen a couple of couple of big slips out of Kyle. Again, another slider here from Sam Mayer. 
Yep, and the Kyle's going to pull down. He's going to make that same move again down the back straightaway. Okay, oh, he's going to pull the old fake one-way get up to his outside. Oh, oh, that was really close to the wall. <laughs> this is awesome. Got it a little hot, but it's going to work out. He's going to have a huge run here down the front straightaway. He's going to have a pick, right? That slower lap car, that's kind of going to hold him there for a second. Sam Mayer like that. That's going to give him control of the race. I mean, he's taking up all the racetrack getting in there in the corner. And a lot of times, I know it's pretty common with the cup cars, and I'm sure it relates to the Xfinity cars. A lot of times when you make green flag pit stops, your car fires off looser for some reason. You know, whether that's, you know, just green flag pressures or, or just the racetrack being the way it is, you know, how it takes rubber. Oh, oh we have a out. The 43, Ryan Ellis gets loose off turn two, hits the inside wall. There you go, Chase Elliott. You were just mentioning. Yeah, Perfect what was that? Timing. Oh, He's 7.30 to go. Almost He's seven more laps, but uh, he'll take it. He'll take it. Absolutely. Those guys ran quite a few laps since the last pit stop. <laughs> well, 20 about spun out. <laughs> in his stall right there. 33 had a really long stop there. And Chase Elliott. With the four brand new tires, he's in the catbird seat, and he's going to gain a spot on pit road. Justin Allgaier come out with the lead. And say these guys are, it's the first time they're firing off on cold scuffs tires. They don't know what they really have and what their balance is going to be, but watch that blue 17 car right there. He's got the four brand new tires. He got one in the fence back here. Shane Van Gisbergen the, in the fence. Shane Van Gisbergen hits another one with oh, new tires. Wait, the big my wreck. goodness. Justin, Justin Allgaier Al in the wall on the front straightaway. And then here they are off a of turn four to seven. Was Just, to be clear, but he was not, not clear. clear. Yeah, the, the 20 went into the wall, I think, trying to give him some more room there, yeah. but just wasn't there. Be fun to listen here. Mm. Uh, maybe not fun to yeah. listen, actually, but uh, definitely, man, end of the race. Real early roll, and 17's going to get a good run here, man. Yeah, he hung just good enough to pull that side draft into turn one. We're hearing the restarts under review. And he's just going to set sail now. You know, Chase there, way better tires. Just needs to settle in and log laps and save something for a, for a late yellow at this point. Oh, oh we got Oh, up. wow. Cole Custer to double zero up in the defense really hard. Oh, Austin oh, Hill oh, behind oh, him. And he's upset. We're still oh, Austin's green had a, it's, a hard it's time. We give him a thumbs up. No caution. That's no a different caution. finger. Oh. Oh, well, no. put your thumb back on the wheel there for just a second. And there's going to be the caution right there. And uh, oh, it looks like it cut down. Uh, it, that that contact, you can see it right there. How low the splitter is on the 21 underneath there. You can barely see it. You can tell that it cut down its right front. And then right here, this is a, a bit of a retaliation. I, I'm pretty upset about all that. And yeah. uh, looks like the throttle might have stuck on a 21. Yeah, as we come off a of turn four, it, 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 <laughs> nine's still almost in the wall. He's still giving it a shot. We're going to take the white flag sponsored by Credit One Bank. This one's not over yet, boys and girls. It's going to be close. It's all going to be about turns one and two. If the nine's able to get a good run here, it might be something. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough. What a good battle all the way through. The 17, Chase Elliott, proven why he's a NASCAR champion in the Cup Series. Comes back after quite some time not being in an Xfinity car. Comes off turn four. Great strategy, great teamwork. He takes the checkered flag at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Yeah, what a day. Great job by Chase. Great strategy. Get those guys in the race, contention, and to win the race. Uh, but also what a job of Brandon Jones. Up and down day for them. A lot, of, a lot of time on pit road and a, and a great charge at the end for him. Props to Greg I, crew chiefs on that thing. Props to Chase, you know, for sticking with it all day. And uh, it wound up paying out, you know, perfectly for those guys to end up at victory lane. Here comes Chase. And the fans go wild. I think they're <laughs> excited. You know, they didn't do that for me last week. <laughs> <laughs> I had some, <laughs> not many. <laughs> 
Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.